Welcome back to the uh, channel, everybody. And, uh, this time I will be fitting the uh, toolbox that I have just purchased of eBay. I will put the uh, link in the description there. It's an El Cheaper one, not an expensive Wonderlic or uh, uh, Touratech. Um, it seems uh, okay. I'll just show you in a minute all the details that came in the box. And um, we'll uh, be fitting it to the, uh, the GS I've just recently purchased, as you may know from my previous video. And uh, planning some uh, tours this year. So I'm starting to uh, fit it out with all the necessary and unnecessary bits of pieces, uh, accessories to it. And the first one being is a toolbox that goes under the uh, standard um, pannier frames that comes with the, uh, with the GS. And uh, I will show you what I bought now. So this is the, uh, the box now. And it seems pretty accurate to the description. Got the uh, aluminium or stainless steel, stainless steel, I presume. Uh, bits of decoration on there. And it came with the, the keys, two keys, and some instructions, which I have over here, and a bag of fittings and fastenings, which I will unpack now and make sure we've got the either even numbers, odd numbers, I don't know. Uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Right, here comes the tricky bit. Put the clamp on. I'm trying to hold it up. It's going to be on impossible to do, even with two hands. Just to hold it in place. Maybe sort of staggering. Yep, yep. Okay. The thing is, the screw is not going through the, the pre prepared hole. first. Clamping and 
plant it first. As you can see, so it's holding there. Let's get that in there. Push it through the hole. I need three hands, possibly even four. Switch hands. Could we even take that frame off? Looks like too much of a boy for that. sent me the wrong brackets for this side. This should be like a male female like grip like that. This end. They sent me just two males. Not good, but I might be wrong. So I'll entertain the idea of the alright.
Screws, so I'm going to pinch one from my toolkit for my supplies. These are really tight, tight. Just at, at this stage, it's purely so that we can remove the things like that. See they're open, the male and the female are open. Well this one's got two males. It's 
So yeah, these fittings. Only a little to be desired, I presume. Not the lick, probably like IKEA. That's spot on. Well, these from God knows where. Quality control leaves little to be desired. Let's try the pan here. grip here and way above that clamp and these here nothing to do with anything not touching anything yeah there's a nice gap between them and the toolbox and the pannier so that is looking good Yep. That fits. So yeah, so from a pannier point of view, there's enough gap here in the pannier so they're not touching. The last thing I want to do is I'm just about touching and I'm getting rattles or buzzing noises when these things just vibrate against each other. So that's deep enough for that to happen. And the pannier just fits into these slider brackets here. And the clamp clamps at the top here and it's way above the uh, toolbox clamp down here. So everything looks and then fit nicely side by side. Cool, so I'll just tighten everything up. Where it is, it's a question of how high do I want this? For the next question. All the way at the top? No, I don't want it touching anything again. I don't want it vibrating. Again, I don't like this being open.
think will be the final tightness. bigger string than this I think to hook it up to this one of these screws over here so that it's, it just simply doesn't reach but I need to uh, it simply doesn't reach so, anyway, so let's see how it fits on See what I mean about the teeth on the clamp? They don't seem to be locking. In fact, I don't think they they will. So here we go. And clamp there, and again you can see I've got two sort of teeth the same. I was wondering whether there should have been one male, one female there. But again, they're not gripping. I'm not 100% satisfied with the uh, those clamps, but it looks as if they're, they're doing the job. And the screws are certainly tight enough, with the, with the nuts and everything. It's not touching the inside of the pannier, so we're not going to get any rattles or rubbings. Oh yeah, here we go. Look from this side. is feeling neglected but the next lovely sunny day we're gonna get we're gonna get a full TLC clean a polish get all the leather seats done all these bugs off and we'll go out for a ride and do another have lovely ride in the countryside 
around here. First bit of sunny day we get. What I should do actually for Ambrosia is um, get another case heated jacket wiring bit and hook it up to the R1200C here so I can actually use a heated jacket on here as well. Well, but where I'll dangle the cable from, or where I'll tuck it, I don't know, but we'll sort that out. But anyway, the mission for today is to fit that toolbox El Cheapo from eBay. I'll put the link in the description for it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next bit to fit in, the next accessory, uh, which will follow after this. Um. Welcome back to the channel everybody. In this little series of me adding accessories to the GS, um, previously I added the, uh, the toolbox and uh, now we're going to add some mats to protect the tops of the panniers on the top box. And I bought these mats uh, from you know where, Nippy Normans of course, and uh, I just had to put them on. Never done anything like this before, so here we go. I'm guessing the first thing we got to do is uh, actually is to clean the, the surface first. And so I've got some of these cleaner wipe things. And so we'll do this one first. And I don't think you can see it from there, but these are already getting quite scratched. And I haven't actually done anything yet, been anywhere particularly. As you can hear, there's a dent in that bit. So, to protect the top, it'd be a good idea to put some of these mats on there. Although I've seen the kit that does all of it, which might be something I might have to consider if the sides keep getting bashed and dinged as they have done already. Right, so that should be enough. Let that dry a bit. So, yeah. And so we'll take one of the long ones. The kit comes with three pieces. Two the same for either side and one for the top. And we can see that it's going to line up quite nicely exactly where we need it there's no overhang either side top or bottom so i've seen people on other youtube videos pull peel the the backing back about halfway or three like that and uh, line it up then pull the rest of it from underneath and flatten it down i don't know I will try it. I will do what they seem to be doing. And just line this up. And it looks okay to me. Maybe this side's a bit out. Just a little bit. Let's get it in just a little bit more. That's looking better. If that comes all the way down to here, that comes all the way down to there. Yeah, anchor that end. Yeah, that looks good. Grab it. Peel it all off and press it down. And yep. It's slightly out, but it's not enough to trigger my OCD. So, make sure it's pressed everywhere nicely. I've got the bike on the center stand here, so it's nice and rigid. You can imagine if it was on the side stand and the, on the suspension, it might be a bit bouncy. This is allowing me to press it down really, really well. Right, let me show you. 
or walk this way. So here we go. Get that shadow out of the way somehow. Okay. That's one. Bottom side done. Let's work on the next one. Put you back up here. Make sure you can see this side here. Yes, you can. All right. Next cleaner. So these panniers haven't really been anywhere, so they shouldn't be that dirty. But you just got to do it to be sure. So there aren't any grease or other material splashed onto here and dried that might allow the stickiness of it to fail a few months down the line or whatnot. And again, Lots of scratches on the top here, which are quite annoying when it happens. Quite annoying. Right, so the next long one. See, this is going to fit on there in exactly the same way as the other one. So we'll do the same thing. Show you the the peeling. With the colour. Okay, and pull it back so far. I'm gonna put it on there, line that up how we want it, so that it is going to sit how we want it. Yeah, anchor it. Grab the rest. Pull it out, and down it goes. I feel I should be using a rolling pin or something on this, you know, to firmly roll everything down. Or oh. a bottle of Coke or something, you know, something to force it down, just to make sure. Okay, I don't think that's going anywhere, Not particularly the edges, I don't want them catching dirt in it and then they ended up peeling up, because that will annoy me, they'll have to come off then and new ones put on. Okay, that's two done. Have a look-see. There we go. See the corners are nicely done. Neat. So that's the two. Done now. Time for the top box. Put you guys back up here. And make sure you can see the top box. Yes, you do. Right, and now we are going to do the cleaning of the top box. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
the other side. All right, here we go. Get rid of any of that. And I'm going off slightly over the edge as well, just to make sure. Tip it over, do it the other side. All the way around the edges here. Okay, I'm happy with that. Dry, it's dry. And the same thing again, let's just see that it's all going to sit nicely. Yeah, that's all going to sit nicely. Feel a sneeze coming. Right. And which way around do we do? We'll peel one side and roll it to the other. So the same thing. I'm going to peel it about a quarter or a third of the way. Line it up. Line up from the back end here, the not sticky end. And just then line up this with that. And that, and that, and that, and anchor it. That's done. Pull the rest out. There we go. All the way to the edges, to the edges. As I said, I don't want them ever peeling up along the corner. And muck gets in, oh, then it's coming off. So, I think it hasn't. I am happy with that. I'm really happy with that. It already looks different. Primarily, it makes this use, these services useful. So whenever I stop in petrol stations, whatever, I put the helmet on and it wants to slide right off. This stuff should hopefully make this quite useful. Also, if you're stopping by on any of the tours, with your sandwiches and your coffees and your teas and whatever, the little table, while you're having a little break. Right. One last little tour. So we have this side done. We have the top box now done. And that done. Let's have a look from the front, looking back, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, that's the second uh, accessory that I have added, and I have several others to do, let me put you guys back up here. So yeah, I've got a mud guard, a mud sling, and the cockpit, whatever it is, um, just to stop some of that sound coming up uh, from in there. So it's quite noisy, those tyres that I have on there. I can't wait for them to uh, get to a point where I can replace them. But anyway, on to the next one. Right, so the next uh, accessory I bought uh, for the GS was some frame bungs. Again, El Cheapo off eBay. And uh, I thought these are non-functional parts, so, you know, it's not as if it's mechanical or anything. Cheap will do. And uh, I'll put the link in the description. And basically, what I got was the following. 
nine pieces. And I thought, typical, I've been stiffed for a piece, and that's going to annoy the hell out of me. But then uh, I think when I counted all the bungs that I can find, apart from two, which I'll need to look into, is that on one side of the frame I don't have a bung, on the other side I do. So if I'll show you what I mean, so hence the odd number. Uh, let me go to the other side. This one here, I don't think I have one on the other side. So if we go and have a look. And yep. Sure enough, it's not there. So hence the odd number. I have not been stiffed. Right, so I will take these and I will temporarily put them in the uh, the bungs. Apart from think uh, I think two extra ones I can't find where to put, but I'll look into that. I think I may need a YouTube video. Uh, to see some other people putting their bungs in and see where they put them. Um, so at the moment I can't find where to put these two. And the reason why I chose this particular bung set is that the pattern in there, if you can see it, is already the existing one on the bike. Because there already is a bung somewhere, if I can find it, that has that pattern. If you can see it, that one there already has the same pattern. So I wanted the rest to match. So I know the Wunderlich ones have their little swirly star on it, but I wanted them to look original. Right, the next step is I'll temporarily put them in, show you where they are, and hopefully find out where those other two go. Now these nine bungs that I got, I managed to temporarily just place them where they got to go, but those two, I just couldn't figure out where they went. And I watched a, another YouTube of somebody fitting in the Wunderlich uh, set, and they had like 11, not nine, so I thought, ah, I bet they'll cover the places that I've missed and sure enough they did. Um, I'll show you where these two last two go but first I'll show you where these bungs that I've got on eBay, El Cheapo and the reason why I've uh, gone for them as I said is uh, the pattern is the same that is currently on the one bung that is on the machine. Okay so I'll show where I put them temporarily. We've got one here, one here, and that's all on this side. Oh, sorry, tell a lie. There's one there. And on the other side, there is one here, I believe. And there isn't one on this side, so that's why I have an odd number of bungs. Which I thought, typical, I got stiffed for one bung. When in reality, as I said, I have this one on this side. Get the uh, Kais heater out of the way. I have this one on this side that I don't have on the other. And so I have this bung here as well, and that one there, and that one there. And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last two, which I couldn't figure out, and I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, but they are in there. I'll see if I can get you from underneath. To have a look. Excuse the dirt on the bike. I did wash it. Uh, no, can't be seen from here. But I assure you, if you l just look, I uh, can't tell really. 
Well, there is another bung right down there. Let me try the other side. I'll be a bit more visible. From under here, nope. It's through there. If I can point my finger at it, there. And there's one on the other side as well. So that's where the other two go. So I'm going to give all these a tap. And uh, I've already cleaned inside the actual orifices, if that's the word. And so hopefully it's nice and clean inside. And these bungs will keep it clean. So I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, I've got the bungs all in. Now let's have a quick look. I'll put my phone light on to see. So there we've got one and two, three there. You can see it. Four under there, and the original one to the left. As I said, I want the patterns to match. And the one inside, see if we can get the light on it to see it this time. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ooh, can we peek at it through here? Uh, no, we can't. Can we peek at it from underneath? It's tricky to see. It is tricky to see. Yeah, that's obscured. But it is in, it is in there. And the other side. So there we have it. One and two. There isn't one down there. And there is the two up here. The left one I put in, the right one is the original. You can see the pattern on it somehow. Yeah. And the one that we can see easily on this side is right, right there. There it is, there it is, dead center. In there, and that's the same on the other side. All right, so that is one other little jobette accessories done. As I said, there is a few others I want to put on, and that is the extension mod guard uh, on the front and the mod sling on the back. I've got the um, Wonderlick, yes, I've spent the money on the uh, handlebar risers, and the ones that go up and come back a bit. As I'm finding on the handful of times I've been out on the bike, uh, anything more than an hour. And yeah, my arms are, are suffering and I'm, I'm feeling that I'm just leaning forward a bit too much. A bit further back, sat more upright, I think we'll do the trick uh, on that. Um, and also the cockpit, uh, sort of, I don't know what it is, um, panel thing just to eliminate some of the sound that's coming up uh, uh, from the tyre, the front tyre. But maybe what I need is just new front tyres. I think those Road 6s everybody seems to be singing about uh, might end up with some of those. So I'm hoping for these uh, tyres to uh, uh, wear out as quick as possible by doing some miles. So I'll stop this video here uh, doing uh, those three accessories. I will do another video uh, with the other accessories, the handlebars and the mud slings uh, on there and the cockpit uh, tidy uh, to follow this one, a part two. So uh, thank you very much for joining me on this. This is an, uh, an adventure uh, for me on an adventure bike um, and uh, learning all these new uh, um, things that you can do with them, all the accessories and get into them. Because I've always been for the last 25 years, 23 years, I've always had Ambrosia here. I've never really done anything extra to it. Everything is as bought 25 years ago and years ago and uh, but she needs some TLC which I'll first nice sunny day we get she's gonna get a really really good clean 
and my plan is to do some over this year to do some chrome work done those exhausts he's doing particularly uh, although I understand uh, they are 1200 C uh, the chrome was always a problem uh, with them so anyway so at the moment she's cameraman with my insta360 on there so subscribe if you feel like it and if you like this video tinkle that uh, bell uh, the like and uh, tickle that bell for any future releases that are coming your way and uh, all I can say for now is uh, ride safe and uh, I will catch you on the next one take care